So in this video we're going to do an example using a table of integrals for an integral that has a radical in it. So here's the integral we're interested in, the antiderivative of 3x squared over the square root of x squared minus 5. So I'm just going to rewrite this real quickly. 3x squared over the square root of x squared minus 5 and dx. And if we were going to integrate this without using the table of integrals, which is what we're going to do, this one looks like it would be, uh, we would be able to attack it using a trigonometric substitution. And you know that's kind of a clunky process. So the idea is to go to the table of integrals and we want to see if this pattern is in that table. So I'm going to keep that and minimize this for a moment and pop open my integral table if I can find it. Here it is. So in the comprehensive table of integrals that you've been provided via PDF document, if you scroll down, there's going to be a, a section on integrals with roots. And we have a 3x squared over the square root of x squared minus 5. And you just, you're walking through here and you tr you're trying to find if you can, uh, you're trying to determine if you can see that pattern show up. And here it is, uh, equation 36 or integral 36 the integral of x squared over the square root of x squared plus or minus a squared. This is going to fit the pattern. So all you're going to do is go to your integral that you're working on. And here I, I, brought, uh, I brought equation 36 in from the integral table. And you're going to identify that it matches this pattern x squared over the square root of x squared plus or minus a squared. And even though it doesn't maybe initially look like it does, it does because we can do some manipulating here. If I factor this 3, which is a constant, out in front of the integral, I get the integral of x squared. So there I'm matching the form of the numerator. And the denominator can be written as x squared minus, and 5, we want to recognize that 5 is just the square root of 5 quantity squared. So we get the square root of 5 quantity squared dx and so we are matching this pattern with a minus where a is equal to the square root of 5 and once you identify that you have a pattern match you just go ahead and implement the right hand side of the pattern the left hand side matches this pattern so now we implement the right hand side of the pattern so we go this is going to equal three times the pattern and the pattern says take a half of the x times the square root of x squared and it's plus or minus so you look over here and you make sure they're matching this is plus or minus plus or minus that means minus will go to minus and we have a minus so this is just going to be x squared minus and it's going to be the square root of 5 squared which is just going to be 5 and then we have minus or plus. So this tells us if it's a minus on the bottom, then we need to do a plus. So we do a plus, and it's plus a half of a squared, but a squared is just the square root of five squared, which is five. So it's one half of a five times the natural log of the absolute value of x plus the square root of x squared minus matching the minus so we get the minus a squared is the square root of 5 squared which is just our 5 close our radical close the absolute value close the parentheses and then add our constant of integration and there's not much not much cleanup to do other than to notice that this uh, pattern that they give us gave us could have been given to us with the one half factored out so i probably would take the time to pull that one half out. So get three halves times x times the square root of x squared minus five plus the five is still in there, five times the natural log of the absolute value of x plus the square root of x squared minus five. Close the absolute value, close the parentheses, plus the constant of integration. We could with this 5, we're not, I'm not going to, I'm going to leave it here and say this is good. We could bring this 5 into the, the natural log function using a log properties. 
by putting a 5 in the exponent position, but I don't see any advantage in this situation to do doing that. And unless there's an advantage to doing it, there probably isn't any need to do it, so we'll leave it like this.